Hey guys, it's Zach. Today, I wanted to talk about a stat in Deep Woken that is incredibly underutilized. Despite being one of the main things tied to your character, it's something that could be really important for world building. Today, I'll be talking about reputation and how the system is flawed. Before I get started, I just wanted to say that if you've liked my recent videos, I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Currently, 97% of my viewers are unsubscribed, so I'm hoping to boost that up a bit. For as many landmarks as there are in Deep Woken, each with their own unique charm and personality, you would think that being in good or bad standing would be something you should generally pay attention to. After all, the game is constantly reminding you of reputation changes almost every time you finish a quest that involves any sort of human NPC. However, that's just not the case. The consequences for having a bad reputation with most factions are completely negligent. Sure. Sometimes a faction like the Ministry or the Knives of Ellis will send hunters that will periodically spawn on you, but honestly, isn't this a good thing? After all, during progression, all it is is more EXP. Come to think of it, the only time where bad reputation is actually a cause of concern is the Summer Company, as nobody likes trying to sail the hive with a giant cannon being blasted towards them constantly. And to be completely honest, there are zero benefits to having a positive reputation. You don't get any rewards from becoming a hero to any faction, besides being able to do the dupe questline. And you know those 5 charisma talents that are supposed to give you benefits for having higher reputation? I have not once ever seen anyone think that these are worth it on any build, in any capacity. For something that's deemed important enough to be displayed alongside your equipments, talents, and mantras, don't you think it might be time for the developers to actually add to the system? There are so many different things you could do to make your reputation something important to your character, but I wanted to focus on a concept that I had that I think would fit in the realm of Deep Woken perfectly. By limiting your character to becoming a hero to only one faction, you would then be able to gain exclusive benefits that only this faction could provide. For example, by becoming a hero to the Divers, you would then be able to access the normally deepbound exclusive additions to Castle Light, like the Antiquarian. Or perhaps, by becoming a hero to the Hive, you could gain access to the magic that powers the magic fountains, being able to teleport to Great Hive Aerotel at will, or any other green portals on the map for that matter, with a long cooldown of course. The possibilities are endless, and it would finally give reputation an actual purpose in the game. My other idea was potentially adding a shop for guild-based cosmetics. By becoming allied to a faction, you would then be able to go to a new shop, maybe located at the bar area of your guild base, to buy different kinds of posters or cosmetic armor schematics of your favorite Deep Woken factions. This would be a great opportunity to add Deep Woken players fan art into the game, as there are so many talented artists in our community who I'm sure would love an opportunity like this. What do you guys think? Do you think more should be added to the reputation system, and if so, what would you do? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.